this game went on for so long because I, I like I fought under that wall three times. Wow, shit. Okay. But that that, that would explain. But I bought one. I mean, a banished one, but it didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, sure, makes sense. Never really want to see them on turn zero. Yeah, I think I was supposed to because I don't want to keep a blue gust wave in my arsenal. So. The uh, the crouching tigers are ninja attacks, right? Uh, yeah. Just gonna double check that. Kind of matters. From session, you mean, yeah. No. Yeah, it's basically all I was checking. I just, I wanted to know whether or not it was a ninja attack. It is, yeah. Oh, it cool. Okay. Kind of matters. So. Uh. In which case, this is fine. Oh, this fucking card, dude. I don't think the more I play this card. You at least understand my grievances with it. Yeah, Why the fuck does this thing exist? If this is a red, I have no issue with this card. Why on God's green earth is it a blue that blocks three? <laughs> I, just don't, I just don't get it. Okay. Um, I can't afford to respect this properly because I think I just get mugged if uh, you have any any buff and or shred effect. My hand's kind of mediocre if I let you take a card from it though. I know what card you're going to take. I think I still have to, to be honest. I don't, I don't think there's any way I can play around a pump effect that isn't fucking embarrassing for my hand if it goes wrong, so. Oh, you hit a blue. You kind of see my issue. Took away the crane dance. Interesting. I'm just going to send seven. Have to imagine this uh, this matchup into Fi is probably fucking piss water, terrible to play. I feel like you probably just mostly ignore each other again. It's kind of what always puts me off about playing Ninja. It's like I get into those spots where it's just like, well, you're playing matchups where neither of you block. Good luck, I guess. Uh, no tutor from me. No tutor from me. Arsenal pass. Dagger. Sure. Uh, 
blue plunder. It's interesting. So we can we could go that route instead, which could be quite good. So this would hit, we would fetch that. I don't even want to really want to do that just yet, to be honest. So I think I just start here. That's a pretty good one in this spot. I imagine the fine matchup with this is probably pretty even just because you both get to wear mask of momentum. Uh, no break. No katsu. Uh, this thing isn't even buffed. Because there's nothing buffing it. We haven't played anything small enough. Just making sure I'm not wrong about that. No, we played a five and a four, so no Shuko buff. So we might as well knock if you if you ability to filter or anything. Not that you would anyway. Oh, I might have frozen. Trying to refresh and kind of failing. There it goes. We're all good. Your tunic is fine. This card is not. <laughs> this definitely resolves. Uh, I seem to be having some pretty serious lag. I'll give it a sec to see if it catches up or I'll have to refresh again. Oh, this is like such a shit turn for this to hit me too. The longer I wait on this pump effect, the worse it gets for me. I think I just have to force it out. Okay, I am surprised. That is not what I expected at all. Okay. So... We don't have to start there, we can start here. Roar in 
it's a Kodachi. Oh man, I fucked this up too. Okay, sorry. Hang on. There is a better way to do this. So we go raw. Predatory. Into Kodachi. Tiger, tiger, tiger. Why does this mask not feel worth it? Like, you have four cards, you just block. Like, the stripe doesn't matter. There's no way I ever get more tigers out of this. Because you always block four, there's just no chance. So I'd rather save this for an art of war turn, I think. So, no. No katsu for it either, because I would rather just snatch. That's not what I expected. Don't think I've seen you trying to keep a five card hand yet. I was definitely a bit confused. You can try and press that button as quickly as you want to. I, that still smells like a sigil over there. I'm just pressing the hollow, I'm not going to avoid it. Fair enough. That's the like least fortunate draw going. Jesus, that's that's unlucky. I hit my third Lord of Wind, so I can't go the whole combo chain because I drew it off the ancestral, and I obviously need to discard something to get the Gust Wave. Uh, 
Uh, we're not popping this yet because you still have the ability to block. We are, however, doing this, discarding the Lord of Wind, fetching a gust wave, playing a gust wave. Mugenshi. I did say I'd have gone a lot, the whole way up if I hadn't drawn the Lord of Wind. But you know I have no Lord of Winds left because there's one in my graveyard, one in my banished, and one in my fucking pitch zone. I knew there was a fucking sigil. <laughs> Fair enough. That feels so rewarding to be right about. I was pretty sure I was hitting this part of my pitch stack based on what you topped and bottomed, and I was right. is dangerous but just ultimately correct how big can you make it and is it 29 <laughs> Breaks puts this in my hand, which means I then get to go Art of War pitching this, buff and banish the Crouching Tiger. I then get to go Raw, make Tigers, make Tigers. I think I might have killed your entire will to live. I'm really sorry. I did pitch stack this, to be fair. <laughs> They're not even on my screen. The tigers go all the way off way too far to the right. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I don't, they're in my banish zone. I don't know how many targets I have. I can't, they won't let me click the double strike. <laughs> I would normally double strike next, but it actually won't let me. I have to start playing targets. 
Now I can double strike. Break this, two of this. Katsu, yes, discard this, two of this. After the last one, <laughs> it's like another seven tigers. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Figured out how this deck beats Olden. <laughs> it's by doing that. Just pitch stack it together in your gold. Holy fuck.